And moving to Thailand, in a puzzling and tragic turn of events, six foreign nationals were discovered dead in a lavish suite at an upscale hotel in Bangkok. Initially, whispers of a shooting circulated among local media, but these were swiftly debunked by authorities who found no trace of gunfire. Instead, investigators are delving into the possibility of poisoning as the cause of death. The autopsy results by Thai authorities found cyanide in the bodies of the victims and suspected that the killer was in fact among them. From the qualitative analysis, cyanide was found in the liquid inside the teapot, in all six coffee cups, and in the blood samples collected from the deceased man leaning against the wall. Now, out of the six victims, four were Vietnamese nationals and two held dual Vietnamese and American citizenship. Thailand's prime minister also visited the hotel where the incident took place. He said the victims might have been dead for up to 24 hours before being found and emphasized that the deaths were the result of foul play rather than a suicide pact. Initially, from our inspection of the scene, there was no robbery or assault. The initial suspicion is that it might involve something ingested based on the autopsy and forensic evidence. Therefore, it is not related to robbery, but further investigation is needed to confirm this. However, the plot thickens when it was revealed that seven individuals were actually booked for the stay, yet only six checked in, leaving one person unaccounted for. And the Metropolitan Police added another layer to the mystery by noting that one of the deceased did not match the hotel's records. Suspicious substances and the victim's DNA were detected in drinks ordered to the suite, though the food they had ordered remained untouched. Drinks that have been consumed were found on the table. There were cups similar to tea or coffee cups, five of them, placed on another table. Every glass was emptied and some residue was found in the glasses. Now, according to the hotel, the victims were scheduled to check out on Monday, and despite their room being on the seventh floor, their bodies were discovered by housekeepers in a suite's living room and bedroom located on the fifth floor. So as the police continued to search for answers, investigators revealed that the case appeared to be personal and did not involve organized crime. The Vietnamese and the United States embassies have been contacted over the deaths and the FBI were en route. Now, according to the victim's relatives, a husband and wife among the dead had invested money with two of the other victims, suggesting that money could be a motive and that the group might have been meeting to settle the matter. Reports say, reports say some of the victims were repeat visitors to the hotel, which is located in a bustling tourist area. This tragedy has surfaced at a time when Thailand is pushing to revive its tourism sector, which had been hit hard during the COVID-19 pandemic. The Southeast, Asian, the Southeast Asian nation recently expanded its visa-free entry scheme to 93 countries and territories. Thailand's prime minister stressed that the incident must not tarnish the country's reputation or deter tourists. Across continents, one powerful news source. bringing you diverse perspectives on the issues that matter. We go beyond the boundaries to give you that little extra about every sporting moment. So thank you for making First Post 5 million strong. We're counting on your support, and you can trust us to bring you the news unfiltered and unvarnished. Climate change is on our doorstep. It's time for a revolution to take root. And it starts with 1.4 billion Indians. It starts with one tree. One tree for humanity. One tree for Mother Earth. One tree for our future. Project One Tree, a News 18 Network initiative.
across to the West Indies. Hello and welcome to First Call America. I'm Eric Hamm, coming to you live from the nation's capital, Washington, D.C.